selling ebooks and products that you didn't even make to make money online? That's what we'll be talking about today in this video, so stay tuned. First, if you're new here, I'm Ashley Tess, and remember on this channel, I help you find ways where you can start making money online and where you can find ways you can start working from home. So if those sound like good things, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified every time I make a video and you will never miss out. So what I'm talking about today is to use PLR, which stands for Private Label Rights. And this means you can buy the rights to other people's products where you can change it, edit it, and use it as your own, and you can resell it, and you can start making money online. So today I'm going to show you different websites and different products that you can edit and change, make your own, start putting it on your own social media, your own website, especially Amazon, Kindle Direct Publishing is one of the uh, websites where you can start selling your own ebooks as long as you change the content inside and the cover you will be okay so there are different websites that you can either buy individual products you can choose it you can start reselling it once you buy it or there's different websites that you can buy a membership which allows you to use most of the different products on their website and you pay either a subscription fee or a one-time fee. So there are different options with using this PLR, Private Label Rights uh, website. I'm going to show you how to do this, but some examples of these websites include the plrstore.com or plrprivatelabelrights.com as well as idplr.com or plrproducts.com. So those are a few different examples of these types of websites. You might wanna take a look and see which one that you prefer. They have different products, they have different methods. If you prefer using a membership where you have access to the whole type of products they have, or if you want to buy individual products. So I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to get started with this right now. Let's take a look at some PLR websites. This one is called plrproducts.com and this website has pretty high quality products that you can buy each product, then you can rebrand it, resell it, and make money. So with this website, you are buying individual products. There are websites where there's different memberships and if you have, if you buy the membership, then you can uh, use any of their products once you buy the membership but this one is where you can buy individual products so let's take a look at some of these here if they're personal niches so for example maybe you want a ebook with a health and beauty niche maybe you're doing pets travel so they have lots of different categories for you they have videos you can use, templates like landing pages and WordPress templates. Maybe you want to make a website, they have kind of done for you website that you can buy. I personally have never used these before, but it would be a good thing to check out. So let's look at the personal niches. They also have marketing, which is pretty popular as well. Take a look at some products that you could choose from. I am looking at personal niches. I went to health and beauty, and this one is called Big Book of Home Remedies. So, when searching for a, pro a product, it's really important that you are checking down below for the distribution rights to actually uh, resell these ebooks if you want to resell them on Amazon you have to make sure that you are editing and modifying from its original state otherwise Amazon will not let you upload and reuse uh, other things that you can find on the internet so you have to edit the uh, ebook from its original state a lot of these ebooks under products may be edited or modified it will say no so you have to make sure you are looking for these distribution rights 
before you choose one where you can upload it, change it, and resell it. So once you have found your PLR type of product that lets you edit and modify it and where you could resell it, then you're going to add to cart, buy it, and let me show you what to do after you buy your products. So now once you have bought your product, downloaded your product, you should get a pop-up of uh, what it looks like and all the different folders that you get when you download your product. So this is what it looks like for me once I downloaded my big book of home remedies product. It has different articles, it has graphics, keywords, emails if you want to use it, and emails a website type of format, different screenshots. I'm going to go to the ebook section because that is what we are looking for today. And, and I'm going to click on the big book of home Rem remedies PDF version. So there's PowerPoint version. If you have PowerPoint, there is also, I believe uh, if you just wanted the text format, some that might be easier actually. Uh, there is a document format too if you have Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you the PDF and here is my table of contents and my introduction and all of my ebook. So what you're going to do with your ebook is you need to change the format so you can upload it as an ebook to resell on Amazon or different platforms where you might want to. Uh, resell this type of ebook on your social media or your own website or your blog. So you can definitely update this uh, cover here. I'm going to show you a website where you can update your cover. Pardon the interruption, but are you enjoying this video? Is it helpful? If it is, please make sure you give it a like and it would mean so much to my video and my channel. It would help reach other people to know that it's helpful as well. So let's get back to the video. So now you have your ebook. It's downloaded, but you need to edit it in an easy way that keeps the format. You can use the website called canva.com and I will show you how you can upload your ebook where it makes it really simple and easy to edit it in this website. So you're going to go to create a design. I, so for example, I'm going to type in ebook and right here it says import PDF. So I already have my PDF of the version of my ebook that I just bought on my plrproducts.com. I have a pro account with Canva I'm not sure if this feature is for the pro account, but if it is, it's really, I believe it's only like $10.99 a month for the pro version, which I highly suggest up upgrading if you would like with Canva. But let me show you to import your PDF. You're going to go to your folder of where you got your my folder but anyways you're going to search where you got your uh, your product here so this is where I'm going to in my downloads it's on my desktop so I'm going to open my big book of home remedies PDF so this was my product I chose I'm going to open it and then it's going to start downloading right here and it's going to already just upload it right here where you can make changes, you can change the cover in Canva, and you can edit it with the different text. So let me show you what it looks like after it downloads. So now it's downloaded, I'm going to click on it here. And it's already uploaded for you. So this makes it super easy where you can edit your, your PDF in your ebook. So I can edit my cover here. And as you see, I scroll down, it has my page two, my table of content. Let me show you how to edit this document in a super easy way where you don't have to literally do word for word, how to edit this whole type of PDF ebook. So let me show you the next step. Your next 
next step is to edit your ebook in an easy way so it's in your own words and you're not going to get any copyright issues. So this website is called quillbot.com and there's a lot of these different types of websites that can different uh, that can paraphrase text, summarize text. So it's the same concept here, but I'm going to go to my ebook. Here's my ebook and say I want to uh, paraphrase and change into my own words the text here. So for example, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy and paste this text. I'm going to copy and I'm going to go to my quillbot.com and I'm going to go to paste text and now I pasted my text just as I copied from my article. I'm going to press paraphrase and this is going to change uh, your writing into your own words for you so you don't get any copyright issues here. So I'm not going to reread it but as you can see it's a bit different here. So now that you have your your new text you can copy and paste this new text into your ebook so it's changed so i'm just going to press delete and i'm going to paste and now i have my new written text and you can rewrite this whole ebook using different tools like that maybe you feel more comfortable rewriting it in your own words, taking some out. Uh, this one is a bit long, this ebook. So you can, you know, edit, change it how you like because you made sure it had that reselling right of the modifications where you can change and edit this ebook. So that's important to be aware of. So now that you have edited your ebook with your rephrasing, you need to make a new cover and you could do this pretty simply in using Canva. If you go to the template section on the side, I looked up ebook cover. So they have different templates that you could use. And as you can see, let's refresh your ebook cover. As you can see, there are lots of different uh, templates that you can already use that you might like a little bit better. You can edit them, you can edit the text, the colors, all that stuff. So I don't really like this uh, ebook cover we have right here, the big book of home remedies. So maybe I could choose something and make it a little bit more exciting and bright. So I still liked, I still like this green and it's free, this green the colors, I can change this uh, this picture here. So maybe I want to choose this, add template as new page. So actually, hold on, let me select this page. So I make sure it's going to the right page. I can do this. Let's see, replace current page. So now I have this as my new template. I can change the text here. Maybe I'm going to change it to just like we had the big book and then of home remedies. So I have the text. I can change this. I don't, I don't want this. Then maybe I can search photos or elements. I can maybe search fruits so I can add different elements to my uh, cover here. These are just examples. Obviously, you can do it how you like. Maybe that's the pro version. But anyways, I have pro. I'm going to add some fruit here. And I'm actually going to delete this. So I have some fruit. I can make this super big. Maybe I want to move it around. And I'm gonna move my fruit to the corner. Maybe I'm gonna add a watermelon. So this is just an example, obviously, uh, just a quick example. You could change it, edit it how you like. 
All right, so now you have your ebook, you edited it, you reread it, you have a nice looking book cover, ebook cover, and you want to publish it. So what you would do is you would just press the download button and this one is saying the suggested PDF print. So yes, you would download it as a PDF again. And now you have your finished ebook. You're ready to resell it on maybe Amazon, Etsy, your own website. You could put it as a freebie to collect emails and your sales funnels, or you can put it in uh, one maybe in your email swipes as a PDF for your different viewers to look at and enjoy. Uh, if you want to sell it on Amazon, you would go to Amazon KDP, or I'm sorry, kdp.amazon.com. And this is what your website would look like. It's super easy. You would make an account, uh, you would sign up, but with your eBooks, you need to make sure there are, they are in a certain format. So it will tell you when you want to upload your ebook. It'll tell you what format to put it in, the different dimensions. But really, once you once you have your PDF version and your cover, you can really start selling it on Amazon since you edited it to your own way, where Amazon won't uh, give you any strikes with that. So you could self-publish eBooks, paperbacks for free with Kindle Direct Publishing. So you could even make your own eBooks if you if you want to make your own eBooks. But this is a way where you don't have to make your own. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't yet, and you are interested in learning more about ways to make money online, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll keep being notified every time I make a video. And there should be more links in the description if you're interested in using these ideas and these uh, techniques to make money online. There should be also videos along the side where you can keep learning how to make money online. I will see you in those.